Steph finna get ready to tell Liam everything she knows, especially if he keeps on talking about how Thomas can't be trusted or, oh, I trust Hope. Hope's just so faithful, so loyal, and all this other stuff. And the look on Steffi's face, I'm like, okay, Finn, somebody noticed that she making facial expressions because the truth gonna come out one way or another anyways. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another video with Life with Chessie. This is for the Bold and Beautiful May 11, 2023. Okay, so, um, <laughs> Liam finna be highly disappointed. Y'all notice how they keep on bringing up Brooke? Oh, you, your mother did this and oh i said they could have said that years ago i said they saying it for a reason um uh, but they keep on saying how oh your mother you're nothing like your mother you're so kind so faithful so loyal um you i know you would never do that that's what thomas was telling her when they was on the uh, uh ain't they on a jet wherever they are plane jet whatever <laughs> and i said everybody keeps talking about brooke i said brooke ain't got nothing to do with this it's all hope <laughs> i said it's all hope but yeah, um, she just, they doing a little heartbeat thing. I said, look, she's so nervous. I said, they say that on Samara's episode, uh, she gonna be struggling to basically keep her feelings to herself. When Thomas said that he had, he got to ask her something or talk to her about something, uh, I thought he about said the other day when you was holding my hands, what was that? Or something. He talking about some doggone Leon, how Leon reacted to that and everything. But look, I don't know. I want to believe that they're going to actually have him reject Hope, but we really don't know at this point. He might be like, yes, I've been waiting on this for years. About time. Um, but, okay, so basically Carter said they got to go on the trip to San Francisco to meet with these fashion folks and everything. Hope and Thomas got to go together. And so they gathering up everything, preparing. They had to tell Leon. Thomas like, okay, basically saying Leon going to have a problem with it or how he going to react. Because the man been on edge for the longest. He been so pressed about Thomas. Thomas, this, he can't be trusted. He always saying he changed and all this stuff. And this time it's his wife. This time it's his, it's his wife. Uh, I think I spoke on this before. But y'all remember that scene where she thought she had pushed Thomas. Or uh, that Thomas had fell in that, uh, what was it, so chemical or something. But then she was in the room. She was just crying and everything. And then he revealed himself. And she ran and jumped in his uh, So look, <laughs> I just thought about that. I just thought about that. But yeah, uh, so Leon walks in or whatever. And he's want to know what's going on, what they got to tell him. So she's like, she just beating around the bush. I said, just tell him you got to go on a business trip with Thomas. Y'all going by yourself. That's it. That's all. She's like, oh, you know, this and that or whatever. But Thomas told Liam before he left that he has nothing to worry about. Steffi and Finn also, I forgot to say that. So they in the office just kissing. I said, like, if you're going to do that in the office place, you might as well lock the door. And especially, look, that was three times, three times. But Finn had said that he had a cancellation or whatever, and that's why he had some a long time, and he had to go see Stephen. I said, good that they spend the time together, because I don't know if they're trying to put her back with Liam or what. But the way they setting it up, hopefully not. Hopefully, if Liam does try to put the moves on her, she rejects him this time, because, you know, last time she did not reject him. But, yeah, Liam walks in. He done interrupted uh, Stephen and Finn. He was looking for hope, said that she said she was with Carter or whatever. Uh, and I said, oh. I like, look, and then he came back because he said he left uh, Kelly's stuff. He left her stuff. But then they get to talking about Thomas and Hope again. And I was like, ooh, she going to tell it. She going to tell it. But I said she going to tell it regardless because once they plane get delayed, they flight gets delayed or whatever. And Thomas get to, not Thomas, Leon, <laughs> look. Once Leon gets to talking about, oh, Thomas can't be trusted. I got to get her out of there, this and that. I said Steffi going to use that as an opportunity, her opening to tell. I said, I wonder what next week's episode going to be about. Because we got one more day this week before it go off. So I'm like, okay, what's going to get it to happen? And if it if she does, if Hope does put the moves on Thomas, will he keep it a secret? Will he try to hide it? He probably try to tell Steffi, and that's the worst person you can tell. Because she going to run to uh, Liam. I about to say Finn. Finn be trying to invest. I told y'all Finn was asking Liam, how you holding up with everything or whatever. But uh, Liam asked Thomas, not Thomas, dog, he getting these folks mixed up. Well, Finn asked Liam, um, basically, you know, how, what did he think about Thomas? I said, why you keep asking everybody? It ain't going to change your viewpoint anyway. Like, it don't matter. He asked like Taylor, uh, Steffi, uh, who else he used to talk to? When he was talking to Wyatt, then he was talking about Ridge coming back. Ridge is back, so he might he might not welcome him back into the company. And all this other stuff. I said, regardless of these, what these folks think, you ain't going to never accept Thomas anyways. Even if he was to say, Hope put the moves on me. I just wanted to come to you and let you know that it wasn't me this time. He's still going to be like, uh-uh, you had to do something. <laughs> He's still going to be that way unless he witnessed it himself. They should have had him walk in on Hope putting the moves on. That would have been perfect. 
That would have been perfect. Because all this time he been telling Taylor and anybody who would listen or who's listening that it's Thomas. Thomas the problem and all this. And I said they should have did it like that. I mean, we don't know how this week's episode going to end. So it could possibly happen, you know. But we just got to wait and see. But do y'all hear that heartbeat? The heartbeat um, sound effect they keep using. Look, <laughs> when they sitting next to each other, I said, look, she just staring them down and stuff. I said, look, this girl, she got it bad, y'all. She got it bad for Thomas. Who would have thought? Thomas going to say, all these years I've been trying and now I'm finally done. You want to go uh, crushing or uh, having feelings with him? Uh, let me see what else happened. Oh, yeah. Liam was talking about how um, basically he had a problem. You could tell. We already knew he was going to have a problem with them going on a trip together. He was like, if she would have went with Carter or anybody else besides Thomas, uh, he would have been okay with it. And then Steffi was kind of getting offended and stuff. And she was like, Hope don't need protection for Thomas. And I thought she might say, Thomas need protection for Hope. And like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I walked in. She was flirting real hard with him. She was holding his hand, looking into his eyes, and I confronted her. But look, <laughs> I thought she was going to tell it. I look. But she keep looking. She just looks. She's like, what do I do? What do I do? I said, look, they're going to wait till Finn ain't in the room. So Liam and her could talk, and then she could tell it. I wonder, will Steffi tell Finn first or Liam? But they said she's supposed to spring into action to my, on tomorrow's episode once she learns that uh, their fight has been delayed. She's supposed to spring into action. Liam gets worried. Um, and Hope continues to struggle with her feelings. She can't hold it back no more. And I said, what's she going to do? Kiss him? Try to kiss him? I was like, oh, wait. Oh, my goodness. I'm ready to see. Um, what else happened? Let me see. Like I said, towards the end of the episode, Hope had asked, uh, I don't know if that was the pilot or what, but asked, um, would there, is there any fog or basically how the weather going to be? Oh, uh, so this after I said, well, he can't. I mean, sometimes the the the, the forecast and stuff don't be true, anyways. It could change, but she wanted to know what, if there was gonna be any delays for them making it back to LA and everything. I said, look, everybody's so concerned about these two working together. Whether it's because you concerned about Thomas or you concerned about Hope, y'all did all this. Y'all told the girl. <laughs> I keep saying, I'm gonna keep saying it because it's true. Y'all made it seem like she had no choice. Her line was going to pay the price. Only for y'all to be over here like, oh, if I knew you was going to be this way, all this other extra stuff. And I said, y'all the one put it in. Y'all did this. Well, I ain't going to blame them because I've been saying for years, if you've been listening to my video since then, since I first started, I said she she has always had feelings for him. I don't know, like back in the day, day, but recently, the last few years, she has always displayed um, characteristics that show that she's into him. But she just like Liam has been all that she has known or just crazy about always return to him. So, but yeah, uh, not too much went on. They always wait to say the lad, the best episode for last. And that's I, that's hopefully I'm hoping that it's if Hope makes a move on Thomas. Uh, what else? Something about Finn I wanted to talk about. Finn and Steffi, I mean, um, besides they just kept getting interrupted and everything. Nothing really happened. Uh, I like that they finally just showing him more, but it's usually for a short period of time or Liam walking in. And I said, is there a reason for that? I did not take that many notes this, for this episode because it was a nice look, same dialogue. I seen some fans coming on yesterday's episode as well um, under the Bold and Beautiful, the CBS page. When you know how they post, if you didn't know, the CBS page be posting clips of the Bold and Beautiful sometimes. And some people were saying how the lines have been repetitive, the dialogue, they saying the same thing they've been saying, hope over here nervous. I said, y'all thinking what I've been saying. I said, y'all think, y'all, st- wait, I said they're wrong. Y'all saying what I've been thinking or whatever. Because I'm like, yeah, they, it's space filler. I think they call it space fillers or uh, something like that. Where they, hold on, let me see what time it is, One eleven. Where they just feel, they try to feel time. They try to fill time with uh, the same storylines or the same dialogue or whatever because they don't have new material. But we just got to wait and see, y'all, what tomorrow episode brings. What would y'all rate this episode? Because I, I don't know. Like I said, I would have preferred that if they do decide to have Thomas reject Hope, that they would have did it um, in town so Leon could walk in and see it for himself. Or just he should have been the one standing outside instead of Steffi. So he could see what she did. But I feel like he still would have been... More so angry with Thomas because, oh, she would never do that. But y'all comment down below. What did y'all think of this episode? Stay tuned for more videos. Check out my review from yesterday if you haven't already. Um, Until next time, deuces. Don't forget to have a great day and be safe.
And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already as well. Roll to the doubt to subscribers. This is.